Okay, hello. So welcome to this tutorial on using MongoDB with ExpressJS framework. So we are starting off straight away. So I have my VS Code already open and I'm going to close some files I'm not using. So first thing I will do also is to init a project. And that's the very first thing we need to do. So I'm going to do npm init-y to say yes to all the questions so that's going to be generated in um it's going to be generated for us. so let's wait for it to generate so now it has completed generating so inside we have the name as mongodb the version as 1.0 we have a description that's empty and we have the main as index.js we have the script already the keyword, the auto, and the license, which is ISC. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to create some basic files and folder that we're going to use for this project. So I'm going to create a folder first, NKDL. I need the controller. I need the model. And I need the router for this project. So I'm going to click that. and. That is created for us already. Now I'm going to create a folder also called source. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it. Now, okay, NKDIL source. So now this is created. Now I also want to create a file called index.js because that's our main file. So index.js. So I'm going to use the command again, touch, then index.js. So that is created for us. Now, in our last project, where we did um, pre operation manipulating an array, um, this was the kind of folder structure we have. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a way to do a better uh, folder structure. So, as I'm going to continue, let me create some additional files that I need. So, I'm going to create mkdir and I'm going to do config config so that is also created and i also need to add my gigs ignore but okay i need to add the touch i need to write touch first so theory search then dot gigs ignore then dot env i want to create those two files so those two files are created for me already now let's continue now you see the way the folder looks like everything is just food and fire and it's not really looking good despite we don't have too much of um stuff but we can make it look better so to make it look better what i'm going to do is i'm going to move in the router the model the controller the config and the index.js into the source folder so let me teach you how to do that with the uh, with the command line. So how to move a file with the command line. Then let me just show you some um, VS Code shortcuts. So you can press Control P to close your to close your menu. You yeah, have to close the sidebar and to open it. So you can toggle it with Control B. Now another shortcut that you need to know how to use is the Control J. So the Control J can help you to open your terminal and close it. So Control J. So doing that, you can easily open your terminal. So these are two fast things you can actually do. So now what I want to do now is let me open my let me open the um, sidebar back. So with Control B. Now what I want to do now is I want to move files into the source folder. Now the way I do that with with the terminal is use the command MV. So let me go to my terminal. Then use MV. Then you mention all the names of the file. I want config. I want controller. I want I want router. I want model. Then I want index the JS to be moved. Now use this sign. Use this sign. Press shift. And that's literal area. Yes, you get this. I don't know what they call the name. You get this sign, then you do a dot s r c. 
So that is where we want to move everything into. So I'm going to click on enter and everything has moved into the SLC folder. So now we have a cleaner widget. You can see we only have the package of JSON, the dot git ignore and the env. So the dot git, dot git ignore is where we, um, we, we put stuff that we don't want to push into our GitHub repository, things that I want to make private. So we can actually do that. And then your env, the dot env is where you keep your environment variable. So let me just write something like port is equals to, uh, okay, let me, that should be number, port is 3000. Then I can say hosts here. You can say that should be local host. So in quotes, not host. So, so in quotes, yeah. So that's just some basic value. So, Another shortcut you can use is instead of using the mouse to distract you, you can just press Control W. So when you press Control W, it goes that now there's another shortcut on um, the keyboard again. You can use to take you away from anything that can distract you. So you can just press Control K and Z. So this takes you to full mode. So in this kind of mode, there's nothing like a distraction. So now to use. To do something, you just press Control P to open the file. So you just type in on the file. For example, now I want to go into the index.js. So you see index.js is open. But I can't do anything now. I have to install all my dependencies. So for installing my dependencies, let me see what I have in my package.js file. So I'll press Control P again. I'll type package.js. So I have no dependency installed. So I'm going to press Control G now. So let me clear up what is there before. Now I'm going to install some things that I need. So one of the things I'm going to install is Express. So I'm going to do npm install Express. I also need, I also need, um, I also need Mongoose. So that will help me to interact with MongoDB. Then I also need, yeah, I think those are the basic um, stuff I need. Currently, so let me install that. So installing Express and Mongoose. So why I'm installing Express and Mongoose? Let me keep do the project setup. So let me press press Control P and go into index.js. Then start initializing it. Start setting up. Let me import the Express module. So by writing Express equals to require express so that is ready now the next thing i want to do is i want to initialize it or instantiate it so i do that by writing another const and calling it app then i say express i call the express function and next now to do is i want to add my ports so the port is app the listing adds Ports 3000 for now. So I'm going to change it to the uh, later. Now I'm going to fire a function, a callback. So, callback function. So, let's fire this function. So, this function will tell us console.log and tell us seven on ports. So on the ports we are going to put. So now let me just quickly put on, let me put in the ports. So let me just create the const and write ports and make that equals to process as env, then the name of the yeah, number of the ports should be 3000. Now I can just replace this with ports. So that is set. Then change this also with capital ports. Now I'm good to go. Now let me just be sure that everything is now. Um, Packages have installed. So uh, let me just quickly do something. Let me just write app dot get. Now we have the get. Let me yes. So let me just send a response. Response dot send. Let me see. Uh, training on Mongo. Mongo DB. So that is all set. So let me see. And this is formatted for me. Now I'm using 
a VS Code extension called Creator to format my code. And I'm also using a font, Ubuntu font, so you can just check that out in, in, in your um, marketplace to so have a um, nice view. Then you can also set your font ligature to give you a nice and beautiful um, appearance of your code. Now, let's continue what we are doing. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to run the server. So before I run the server, I need to go to Control P and go to Package or JSON. Then in my package or JSON in the scripts, I need to. I don't need this for now. So let me just change this to that. Then let me change this to. Let me change this to uh, load. Then no, don't forget we have our folder inside the source. So our, our, our file is inside the so our index of JS is inside the source. So write dot SLC. So take note of this part, then you write index dot JS. Now this is the only time we can run our code. Now let me do something. Let me do the one for the dev because I'm going to install node more very soon. So to do this, I will also do this. I'll say node more, then write the same source slash index.js now um this is how to set up your package your json file so now let's close that by pressing ctrl w so that is closed out so now we can run our code let me clear up the terminal to have more space so i'm going to write um i'm going to write npm run start or npm start to see what I get. So I'm to get serving on ports 3000. So that is correct. So I'm going to shut this down and use dev because I don't want to be doing this every time. I don't want to be starting the server every time. So I'm just going to write npm run dev. So let's ensure that our server is serving. Now that our server is serving, so we have an error. It's telling us node mod is not recognized, so I have to install node mod. So node mod. So let me just clear up this so that we see what I'm doing. So I'm going to write uh, npm install Then um, I can also put, okay, yeah, node mod is okay. Then I put dash capital D to save it as a development dependency. So I'm going to click on enter and. That is all set. Yeah. So it's installing. So let me wait for it to install. So we need to create some files. So let me open my terminal so that you can all see what we are. Now I'm going to use my mouse again so that you can understand what I'm trying to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put a file. So I'm going to do uh, user controller yes then i'll go to the model and just give it the capital m then del dot j no let me make it user not model so user dot js now after doing this i want to also go to my router and create a file called user routes.js so these are all the js so now i have some now here yeah, i want to set up something called database.js so i think it is fine like i think it is fine now so good morning has finished installing so let me just clear up this and just write npm run dev to so start so it's installing so um it's running and so node money is up now so let's start our project by first of all setting up our database and we do that by requiring the module we have installed that is mongoose so say mongoose then we say it goes to require mongoose so I require mongoose, then we'll I'll write a function, write the async async function that we want to export. 
So that one to explore and I call it connect. Now it has options. So the options can be URI. Let me put URI so that it will be more specific. So that's instead of that, put now URI here. Then I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to call mongoose.connect. It connects the URI or the URI or um, the local string. So, yes, so we're going to continue doing that.